Okay, so Jordan, we're getting closer to talking about the specifics about how he rules his kingdom. And I just wanted to bring up mm -hmm. um, one passage that I think of immediately when we talk about how did how does Jesus rule his kingdom today? Like he is a king, but what kind of king? Um, and and the the thing I'm you know thinking about is the climax of John's gospel where he okay. Jesus is brought head to head with the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. you know, embodied in Pilate. And in John 18, Jesus is speaking with Pilate behind the curtain, as it were. And the whole question is, are you a king, right? And Jesus says, my kingdom, verse 36 of John 18, is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so could you elaborate on that? Like, how would you sort of explicate how Jesus rules his kingdom today? Okay. Well, when I think about it, we do see that his kingdom is not of this world. Yeah. So obviously there are going to be some differences. It's a spiritual kingdom, not a physical kingdom. Mm -hmm. But in place of the differences, let's first talk about the similarities. You got earthly kingdoms, earthly kings. What do they do? Mm -hmm. A king takes his throne, whether through force or through lineage. And when he is put in that position of authority, then he rules over all of his territory, all of his subjects. Mm -hmm. He is the word. He is the law. He is the all-encompassing authority for that kingdom. And when he has that authority, he uses it. He uses it for himself a lot of times to increase his wealth or increase his territory. Mm -hmm. And in that respect, we can see at least some similarities with Jesus. Not completely similar, but some. Jesus, when he became king of our kingdom, was put at God's right hand. He has all the authority. He has all this power. And he has, like that other king, the chance to give orders, which he has given us in the word. Mm -hmm. Now, when we think about some differences, we want to think about how it contrasts. What is the difference between the physical and the spiritual? Because both kingdoms are trying to advance. Both kingdoms are trying to grow. Yeah. So when a physical king tries to expand his territory, what do you think he does? Well, a physical king, uh, off with their head, right? You yeah. Know? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Swords, guns, power, military might, right? Mm -hmm. We see that all through history. Yeah. Whenever a king or emperor or whatever is trying to increase his power, mm -hmm. it always follows slaughter. Mm -hmm. You go out, you conquer, you command, you bring more people into your dominion. Yeah. Now, Jesus also brings more people into his dominion. Well, what's lovely about it is he doesn't send us out to conquer by killing. He sends us out to conquer by saving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I, I love that you said that because like there's this, there's this weird idea that it's I mean, the New Testament is not any less militaristic in its speech than the Old Testament. It's, mm -hmm. it's still very militaristic, but the, the paradigm has changed because, like, for example, in 2 Corinthians 10, Paul says that, you know, our weapons and God are mighty for pulling down strongholds. But he, but he says it's not, you know, it's not swords. It's, it's ideas, really. It's the mm -hmm. truth. That's how we conquer. And um, I just think it's interesting because what is the easiest way to... What is... What is the most surefire way of destroying an enemy than by making him a friend, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what the cross does, is that someone said that uh, uh, the cross is turning all of the military rule on its head because it's not about the love of power, but it's about the power of love, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what makes Jesus' kingdom so different in its DNA, you know? Mm -hmm. Going along with that thought, my favorite piece of what we call the armor of God mm -hmm. It's the sword of the Spirit, yeah. which we refer to as the Word of God. The exactly. sword that's used for violence is now used for peace.